Hi families, Miranda here, a speech pathologist at Small Talk, and I have some communication tips to share with you on your days at the pool. Before you even start your activity, there are a million different ways to incorporate language and communication into things that you're doing. You can talk about what you wear. You're wearing a swimsuit, you're wearing a hat. Why do you wear a hat? To protect your face and your eyes from the sun. Sunscreen, goggles, slippers, anything you can think of. As you're putting it in your bag, you can you know, go through each item and say why you wear it or why you're bringing it. Obviously, safety is really important when water is involved in your summer activities. So a great way to incorporate safety and communication would be following directions. Some examples are slow down, no running, wear your shoes, hold on to the ledge, anything you can think of that incorporates that language piece, but also ensures that we're being safe in the pool. A great way to target language at the pool will be using common objects. So collect some of your waterproof common objects. I have a house, I have a football, I have glasses, I have so many different common objects and I threw them in a little plastic baggie. And what you can do is you can throw them in the shallow end or a kiddie pool, have your kiddo jump in and collect them and start naming them. That's a football, that's a house, those are glasses. We throw a football, they're glasses. An easy way to drill your articulation sounds at the pool be grab a ball, have your kids say 10 S words, R words, TH words, and then throw the ball back and forth. Or you can just play a simple game of catch. Tell me C, throw the ball. Tell me soup, throw the ball and go back and forth. What's great about those activities I just talked about is that it's a really fun way to target those speech goals, but it doesn't feel like work. Have a great summer, everyone.